and I'll tell you one OPD regime. Before that, there was uh, this one question which came in your exams around four or five years back. What is the treatment of a woman who is wife of a truck driver and she's got a white discharge? That's a very mean question, all right? Uh, they have really maligned the truck drivers. This is an all India question. I am not saying that this is a question which came in some state exam and nobody noticed. It was an all India exam, it is around I think 4 years back. And this question came that if a truck driver's wife has got white discharge, what do you do? You give broad spectrum antibiotics. You know, they have maligned the whole truck drivers of the country. We know, we agree that the truck drivers are known to, you know, truck drivers are always on the road and they are always uh, around 14, 15 hours of a day, they are driving the trucks and uh, they frequently stops for uh, getting the food from these dhabas and we also know that they go behind the dhabas to get their STDs, uh, we know that, yes. But saying it on a national exam and, you know, branding them as people who are promiscuous, that is a little unfair. But never mind, the question came to you and they asked you that if your truck driver is having his wife with white discharge, you give broad spectrum antibiotics. That is pretty simple an answer. But never mind, broad spectrum antibiotics on outpatient basis, you can give a, let us say a cifoxitin 2 grams IV or you can give a cefotaxim uh, 1 gram IV. I am not saying both or. Now, this will take care of the gonorrhea. Just one shot, okay one shot. I am not saying that you will continuously give it, just one shot of these drugs. Then you can also give, the next you can give is the doxycycline. You can give around 100 milligrams twice a day into 14 days. That takes care of the chlamydia. And you can give the metronidazole. which is sold as uh, flagell most of the time in our country, but then that is a trade name, 500 milligrams twice a day again in 14 days. Now look here, in our country we do not get the 500 milligram dose, we get the 400 milligram dose. So I am telling you the CDC regime, in our country we have 400 milligram tablets, so if you really want to give uh, PID treatment, we can give 400 milligrams twice a day. It gives us decent results. Now, metronidazole is given for the treatment of the anaerobes. And it is also meant for the treatment of bacterial vaginosis. I have changed the color and I have given emphasis again and I have shown you the inverted commas. Yes, please remember the exclamation is very, very important here. Bacterial vaginosis, I told you in the diagnosis of PID, it is a very common bug. It is a very important bug. Why? If you do not treat the bacterial vaginosis, it is going to cause the relapse of PID. So, no PID regime, no PID regime is without metronidazole, very important funda. All the CDC regimes, if you see, all the regimes will have metronidazole, the two OPD regimes and the two IP regimes, both have, all four have the metronidazole in the treatment because the book says, I am saying the textbooks that if there is bacterial vaginosis, you must give metronidazole, regime always will have metronidazole. So please, nobody takes a chance, they always give metronidazole because if you do not treat the bacterial vaginosis, it is known to cause the relapse of PID. Now, Apart from the metronidazole, you can also try clindamycin. Is that somebody might not tolerate the metronidazole and the, the altered taste because of that? And if there is resistance to it, you can give clindamycin as the purpose of anaerobes and bacterial vaginosis treatment. And instead of doxycycline, you can also try the azithromycin. All right, so that was the bit on the treatment of PID. Now let's move on and see something simpler.